This is 148 French Street. It's on the corner of State and French. It's a nice downtown loft building. It's got three units in it. Uh, there's a commercial building on the first floor and then two apartments on the top floor. This is State Street Hill, uh, downtown. Everything it offers, the library, the parks, the restaurants, uh, retail shops, really nice location. In the last five years in Bangor, a lot of these buildings have been uh, put in and renovated into nice upscale apartments because it has that convenience and accessibility of everything downtown. It is a secure entry building um, and does have parking here for our non-snow um, months. Uh, there's parking right on the street all the way down so it's nice. Uh, the owner also pays for a parking garage spot uh, for the, each tenant for the uh, snow months. Uh, this entry, the owner actually just put in a camera system which he's going to tie in. So currently it, it shows a lobby in the outside uh, and he's thinking that uh, tenants that have Wi-Fi will be able to tap into it and can see who's at the door if they want instead of having to run down if somebody's here. Um, they did this renovation and they really did a good job. They showed all the uh, exposed brick and it really has a nice, the location is, in my opinion, superior to a lot of the, what the downtown offers because the, uh, the sorry, the owner's doing the final touch up and stuff on the apartments, but the, um, most of these downtown loft that sort of run $1,500 to $3,000 a month. And uh, most of them have restaurants or bars right underneath. So nights and weekends, they can be pretty loud into the <laughs> late evening. Um, so this location is literally just a couple of steps to all those same locations, but you don't have that noisy neighbor beside you underneath you. So this one is kind of nice because you have a little spot for your coats and that kind of stuff here. This unit, they're just finishing up. Again, it, this one is actually a one bedroom plus an office, so maybe a small two bedroom. It's got um, nice hardwood floors and again, expect, exposed brick. Good size room. All the light fixtures are custom. This is the, we'll walk into this one. This is the small room. The owner had an artist as a tenant in the downstairs unit and they did some uh, neat art both in the other unit and this one doesn't have to say if somebody doesn't like it um, it can be painted over but somebody thought they might make a great office type situation <clears throat> so this is office or bedroom number two and then this has the bigger bedroom in the front it's a nice good size room again could do a king size bed if somebody has that. And this connects both to the other room plus out into the dining area kitchen. So this kitchen, I think it's slightly bigger than the one bedroom we have downstairs. They did a nice ceramic tile wood look on the floor here. They also did the dark granite, which I happen to like better. The one downstairs has like the deer isle type granite, which Maine is kind of famous for. This has got the darker granite. Um, they've got this like shelf built in that <clears throat> somebody can use for odds and ends. Again, stainless appliances. A decent amount of counter space, cabinetry. And there is <clears throat> plenty of room for uh, like a pub table type situation here. I think if somebody wanted the owner probably would get rid of the shelf, but I think um, somebody probably would want it. But um, nice space. And back to the living room. Again, the living room is, <coughs> excuse me, probably a little oversized for what you sometimes see. Although I think it's pretty typical for these downtown units to have a, a bigger living room. The bathroom is again a full bath. It has a washer dryer hookup, and I have to get my cell phone out to give a light because it's not on. There we go. Okay. There we go. So, full tub, shower, tall ceilings. I don't know if you noticed, but I'm guessing these are 10 or 10 and a half foot ceilings. They're taller than normal, which is kind of nice. Ceramic tile on the floor here again. The owner, when they originally did these renovations a couple years ago, um, 
they just put in regular vanities. He just upgraded the vanities. Um, it's a brand new vanity. It's got a stone top. New mirror, new light fixture that matches. Of course, toilet in the corner. Then on this side, it's got... Let's see if I can shut my ring off. Uh, again, washer dryer hookup, so you don't have to go and use a uh, coin op or uh, do a laundry mat, that kind of thing. So it's got its own washer dryer hookup, and then there's a linen closet right behind, which is kind of nice because you have a place to put your linen right away. These do have uh, utilities included, except for electric and uh, cable internet, and they do have their own thermostats. So they have their own thermostats for each unit. The owner pays for the heat. So that completes 148 French Street, Apartment 3. If you are interested, just let us know. Give us a call, 974-6606, or visit us at rentbangor.com.